Valentine's Day and we want to do something special to make a perfume something that will really turn all the viewers on if only you could smell it. Making perfume is pretty skilled. If you make really posh ones you need lots of components so it lasts all day. The cheap ones just evaporate quickly. Once you're out of the shop it's gone. So let's see what we can do. And Sam has found a great bottle and this is the bottle in which we're each going to put in something to make the periodic table of videos perfume. I thought a bit laterally today and uh, I've got here um, a natural product it comes from ladybirds and ladybirds use it to signal to each other to tell them to congregate so it attracts ladybirds. So this is called a hippodamine, it's one of about five or six uh, molecules that they make and use for this sort of thing. Uh, so I'm going to put this into our potion. If it works for ladybirds, who knows, maybe it'll work for ladies. Just drop that in there. I'm going to use vanillin. Vanillin is chemical that gives vanilla its flavour. I feel that this will suggest chocolate and ice cream and make fe people feel really quite good. It's a solid, so we've got to dissolve it in something to make the perfume. Usually people use a mixture of alcohol and water as the basis of a perfume. I shall use my Mendeley vodka. It's a nice white solid, the vandalin. Let's mix some in. This is citronella, and, and this is the a classic smell of lemons, you know, it's, it's that amazing zesty smell that really, really is beautiful. But it's very strong and very intense, so we don't need very much of it. Valentine's Day is about romance, you know, and, and the next molecule I wanted to put in was one which, which is quite nostalgic for me. Because it's a, it's a molecule that I worked on quite a lot. Not only is it going to give a warm tone to the perfume, but it's also going to give some colour. And, and that molecule itself is, is cinnamaldehyde. So um, this is the smell of, of, of cinnamon cookies and, and an apple pie. This is an in incredibly intense smell. So here we go, we're going to add it to the mixture, just a few drops. There's my contribution, Brady. Let's give it a bit of a mix. And you can see the colour of the cinnamaldehyde already starting to come into the mixture. Here's our perfume so far. Um, and the thing that I'm going to put in, into the perfume, is boron trioxide. You probably know if you've seen my boron video that, that I do have a love of boron. So on Valentine's Day, maybe I'll get a little bit of boron. Um, boron doesn't usually come in perfume very much, but I thought I'd try and put a little bit of a boron compound in. Let's see about that much in. There it goes. Make sure that's on before I... So I'm gonna add some of my lunch, which happens to be a bar of chocolate, so a, a traditional Valentine's gift. So why chocolate? Well, of course, it's got a chemical basis, and here's the compound I'm interested in. It's called theobromin. Um, there's no bromine in it. It just happens to be the name of the molecule because the plant is called theobroma. So it's, it's very similar to caffeine. If we swap this hydrogen with a methyl, we've got caffeine. And how it works is very similar to caffeine. It makes your heart beat a little bit faster and your blood vessels dilate, so you get a little bit lightheaded, just very much like falling in love, apparently. So I'm going to go to the lab, melt some chocolate, and add it, because even the smell is really enticing, OK? I'm going to take a couple of drops and add it to the love perfume there, the love potion. One, two, three, I think. The people who make real perfumes in perfume companies are called noses. They smell things really well. And in their office, they have a whole range of different chemicals and they mix them together to produce special effects. If you own the company, you're frightened. Your nose might go away to somebody else and take your secret recipes. So the owners of the company remove all the labels from bottles and just put A, B, C, D and so on. So the noses never quite know what their favourite ingredients are but as long as they stay at that company, they can mix the chemicals. All right, so I'm going to add a compound called eugenol. And uh, it smells quite nice. So you can see it's kind of a pale yellow liquid. I don't know if you can see that. OK, I've put in three drops. So what I'm going to add now is um, I'm going to add a little bit of bling to our uh, perfume. So what I'm going to add 
is some platinum. So I've got a, what I've got in here is a solution of a material called hexachloroplatinic acid. I think it's going to add a little bit of glamour to the uh, perfume because, you know, platinum jewellery is obviously uh, very popular at the minute, very expensive. So we're going to have the world's first uh, perfume that actually contains platinum. Hey, all right. Oh, wow. That actually smells quite nice. Um, I'm getting notes. It's flowery. It's, it's not unpleasant, actually. I don't know if I, I, I wouldn't use it, but um, it looks weird. So I think there needs to be something to cheer it up a bit. Um, given that we're talking about Valentine's and love, the color that's associated with love and passion is red. We've got here a uh, direct red 23, which is a dye. It's kind of a very dark, colour. Um, I've no idea how much to put into this so we'll just trial and error see what happens if we put this in. It went from being this really horrible kind of unappetising, unattractive, almost yellow colour to something now, you look at it, it looks red, okay it's a bit, maybe it's a bit like blood but actually when you think about love you think that red is the colour of love. You got an idea for the name of our perfume by the way? Of course, the perfume will be called Mendeley of Stream. <laughs> <laughs> Mendeley of Stream. <laughs> <laughs>